This is a NIM quick start video for different procedures. So once you turn on your NIM, you're going to get up to this screen here. You're going to pick default profile, or if you have some custom setting that you've already set up on the screen, you would pick that one. Here, we're going to be talking about a mastoid. So mastoid is under neuroautology. So we're going to select neuroautology. We're going to look for our procedure. Here is mastoid. We'll select mastoid. And now it's asking us again to undock our patient interface. So we're going to undock the patient interface. You'll notice our red square became a green square, which means that our interface has been seen. Once we get to this screen here, we can proceed to the next screen, which is our arrow here to the right. Now we're going to connect our electrodes. So we're going to bring the patient or interface over to the patient. Uh, for a mastoid, we're going to be monitoring the facial nerve, so we're going to be using facial electrodes. So we're going to be placing the subdermal needle electrodes, one above the eye, one above the lip. We're going to have our green electrode and our return lead that show here in the patient's sternum. And once you have all of those connected, like you see here on the interface, everything is going to go green to let you know that you can proceed. Now you would proceed to your next step, which is just hitting your arrow. And now you're in your main monitoring screen. Again, your NIM wants to be located somewhere either at the head or the foot of the bed, away from any uh, other electrical equipment. If you can have it powered into its own outlet, that's perfect. And you'll notice this interface here is wireless as well as the muting is wireless. So being wireless means that it'll pick up any of the uh, monitoring function right here on the patient interface. And whenever they use electrocautery, because the muting is wireless as well, the NIM will mute to let them know that it's not functioning whenever they're using electrocautery.